People sometimes think because of the weapon that they carry or the training that they've had or the experiences that they've had or because of what they do for a living that that is a guarantee of safety. The reality is we all break, bleed, and die, and we're all capable of losing. Even if we do everything right, we can still lose, we can still die. And even if we win, we can become injured in a way that forever affects the quality of our life. I personally know two people who were shot in the neck and paralyzed from the neck down. And I know someone who was shot in the spine and paralyzed from the waist down. And nobody wants that to happen. The reality is the only guarantee of safety is prevention. Every situation that we avoid is a situation that we win. The best way not to be there on the back end is not to be there on the front end. And of course, there are things that we can do to increase our chance of success, and we should, but there's nothing that we can do to guarantee our chance of success. The only guarantee of safety is prevention. So when I think about personal safety, I think about it a lot like fire safety in the home. It's the best way to keep your house safe from a fire. Prevention, right? Do all the things that you can to reduce the likelihood that you're gonna have a fire in the first place. But we also know that no amount of prevention is going to make the average house fireproof. That's why we need a way to respond if there's a flame. That's why we have smoke detectors and fire extinguishers, or at least we should. And if there is a fire in the house, the safest thing to do is to get away, right? Because if you're in the same place as the fire, then you're at risk for getting burnt. But what happens if you weren't able to prevent the fire? What happens if you're not able to get away from the fire? then you have to put the fire out. And remember that the longer that fire burns, the longer you're in danger, and the longer that fire burns, the more danger you're in, because that fire is gonna continue to grow and become more dangerous. So do you wanna stomp it out when it's still small, or do you wanna wait to half the house is engulfed in flames? Because eventually, you're gonna reach a point of no return. Well, personal safety is the exact same thing. I want to do everything I can to avoid that altercation. But if I can't, I have to shut that threat down as quickly, as aggressively, as decisively as possible because the longer they're functional, the longer you are in danger and the longer they're functional, the more danger you're in, the more likely that the threat will escalate, the more likely that you'll become injured or exhausted. So we always want to try to avoid altercations by paying attention to our surroundings and making smart choices that keep us out of danger before danger happens. If we end up in a danger situation, we want to get away from the danger if we can. It's only when we can't get away from the danger that we might have to use force to stop a threat. But remember, the only guarantee of safety is prevention. Even if you do everything right, you can still die. You can still become injured in ways that forever affect the quality of your life. So we want to do everything in our power to stay out of danger. But we also, like wearing a seatbelt, need to take the appropriate steps so that if we end up in a dangerous situation, we have the best possible chance of stopping that threat from hurting us or any other innocent people. Visit our website for information about how you can train with us, both in person and through live virtual classes. And of course, share this video, subscribe, stay safe, and have a great day.